Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes from in30minutes.com. Today I have a really interesting question to ask you, and that is if you're using Excel, you know, how would you express uh, how would you how would you get it to calculate 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the third power? And one way you could do it is just do what I just did here, you know, type equal 2 oops, 2 times 2 times 2 and you get an answer. 8 Obviously, though, that doesn't work if you have a really big exponent, exponent, or it's numbers that are hard to type in. Uh, so, for instance, two to the twenty-second power, two to the two to the fifteenth uh, power. You can't just keep on typing that out. That'd be just that'd be crazy. So, Excel has ways you can do that, as you may imagine. And there's basically two ways you can type out two to the third, uh, two to the third, or any other exponent. And one way is using the caret symbol. That's this little thing right here. Think of it, looks a little bit like a caret. And if you take this equals two caret three, that will, that's the same as telling Excel two to the third power. So let's take a look and see how it works. So two caret three, whoops, three. And I'm gonna paste that in, if it lets me. Yeah, and it calculated right there. And you can see up here in the formula bar, there it is. Okay. Now the other way to do it is to use the power function. I usually use the caret, but you can also use power. And basically the format is equal power, and then in parentheses the argument, two comma three. So let's try that one out. Okay, so I'm gonna type it out right here. Power, two comma three. And then I'm gonna actually do it here. It's uh, using the equal sign before it. And you can see, equal power. I can't see it that well, let me just spread this out a little bit. Okay, spread that out, click on that again. You can see it's equal power two, three. And then of course, if you wanted to change things, like I said, if you wanted to, let's say instead of doing two to the third power, you want to do two to the 10th power, then you would go in again, replace three with a 10, 1024, and same with this one. If I wanted to do, make this two to the eighth power, change the three to the eight, and there we go, 256. For more information on how to get the most out of Excel, check out my book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, as well as the Excel Intermediate Cheat Sheet, which covers exponents, and that's available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.